have yet another tag haul here on my channel today and I've done some shopping lately. Some of this stuff I needed, some I didn't. There's a really exciting item in here which I am excited to show you and then there's one I think might be delivered in time before this video goes up but I don't have it today so if I do receive it I'm going to put it towards the end of this video. It was a product that I ordered before. It got lost in customs and they reshipped it and seems like it should be okay so fingers crossed. So first, I made an order off of someone on Facebook. I've been wanting to expand my Bic collection, so I have a little bit of everything, but I really wanted a Mullen Mouth Pelham, and I wanted one that was rubber. I did get one that was rubber, but I don't love the rubber on this one, but I'll show it anyway. So this is a rubber Pelham, and this is the harder rubber, so if I were to put one in Sassy's mouth, like, and use it as, like, her jumping bit or something, not saying I plan on doing that because I like the bit she's going in now, but I would like something a little bit softer for the rubber, but this was really cheap. It was like $15. So this is a five inch and it looks like the metal is a little bit more on like the, not like copper side, but it's not quite silver. This one does need a curb chain, but I wanted to get a Pelham because I wanted something a little bit stronger for the bits that I have in my collection now. Like I said, don't plan on using it anytime soon, but if I'm gonna go with a stronger bit, I'd rather go with something with leverage, but a nice mouthpiece. This is a mullen, so it doesn't have anything super sharp or anything. It's pretty smooth. I just wish the rubber was a little bit softer, but I did order it knowing it was a harder rubber. And then I also got another mullen palum, but this one is just metal, and this one does have a curb chain. It is more of a silver color compared to the other one, and this one is a five and a quarter. So I just got this because this one was also $15 and I thought it was a pretty good deal because I did order from the same person. It was only $35 shipped for both of these bits and I'm happy with them. For the next products, I actually got this package today and I made a small order from Dover. I really need winter riding gloves. So I picked up these SSG fleece lined winter grippers with a rubber dot palm. So these are just winter riding gloves. They were only around like $13, I think, give or take. And I had a gift card, so I thought I would throw these in my cart. And they seem really soft. These are a size medium, and I do think they're slightly too big for my hands, but I think they'll be fine for the winter. So I'm fine with them. They seem really soft, and I'm excited to use them this winter. I saw one of my Facebook friends use this product on her fox hunters. She used this product. This was the E3 Waterless Argan Oil Shampoo. I have this brand for Sassy's Antifungal Shampoo, and I really like it. And I know my barn owner has the Argan Oil Shampoo, like the normal one, and it smelled really good. And I was just excited to try this, and I was really intrigued because I do have a clinic this weekend. So if Sassy does have like spots and stuff, I can clean them up really quickly with this and hopefully it works. I'm excited to try it because I've never had anything like this. And the main reason I ordered from Dover is because I needed to get Sassy another sheet because the one that she has isn't waterproof anymore and I wanted to order something quickly so I could have something waterproof while I re-waterproof her other sheet. And it's actually shipped really quickly so I'm really happy. I ordered this Horsewear Mio Turnout Light Sheet so it doesn't have any fill. Sassy's a 78. I do have the medium version of this brand for their turnout blankets. So I think it's just a medium turnout blanket. And I love it. I like that it has a little bit of a higher neck. And I'm actually pretty happy because it looks like they sent me the wrong color. But this is the color I originally wanted, but they were out of stock. So I'm pretty positive this is the dark blue and red. I actually ended up ordering the dark blue, teal, and red one. I'll put a picture on the screen right here, but I actually didn't want that one. I really wanted the dark blue with just the red trim because I didn't love the two different blues with the red. I didn't think it was a very cute sheet, but I really like the Mio ones, so I wanted to just get one of these. I'm gonna put a picture on Sassy of this sheet to see what it looks like, so I can show it on the screen right here, and hopefully it fits her, we'll see. But I'm honestly really happy that they sent me the wrong color. Usually I would be upset, but I think it worked out in my favor this time. Next, I purchased a few things from my local consignment shop. 
I couldn't resist these socks. These are the Ovation Footsies Zocks. So these are, they're like knee high socks and I am so excited about these because they are little corgis and just little terriers. I think there's like corgis and a terrier on here, but they're so freaking cute. This is kind of a boring item, but I did purchase the Equiderma Skin Lotion for Horses. This is supposed to be really good for like scratches, any skin issues. I wanna try this on Sassy's Cannon Crud, I think is what it's called. It's just like little dead skin and like gross hairs on her cannon bone, which she's constantly had. It doesn't hurt or anything. It's just like gross and disgusting to look at because I can't always clean it very well. So I'm excited to try this on her for that. The next thing I purchased from my consignment shop is a Sandy Martingale. And this is the Treadstone Sandy Martingale. It is Indian leather, oak bark, and it is in the size cob. So this was on consignment and I think it was technically used, but it's new with tags. Like not really sure how that works, but it is like an oak bark color. So it will match my saddle and it is a cob size. And I got this for $30 and it's pretty affordable. So I just decided to pick it up so I can have it just in case I need it. This is the last product I got from my consignment shop. And this is the Escadron waffle cooler. And I got this in a size 78. It's kind of like Christmas colors and this was on consignment so I only got it for like 30 bucks. I was hoping to get something a little bit bigger because Sassy's coolers when she's a size 78 kind of like fit her like a tight shirt but I think this will be fine because I will only be using it after bathing and then I'm gonna throw a cooler on top so it can kind of like lift the water on top of the cooler. When I bathed and clipped Sassy a couple weeks ago my barn owner let me use like her Irish knit which I think is similar to how this works. It's a waffle cooler so the knit's just a little bit like softer not really sure but she let me use her Irish knit underneath of my cooler because I didn't have an Irish knit like cooler for underneath my fleece cooler and it was so helpful in drying sassy especially while I was waiting her for her to dry before I clipped her so I decided to pick one of these up because I will be bathing sassy tonight tonight's Friday and this won't be going up for a couple of days so hopefully this works. I'll show you guys a picture of what she looks like in it so you can see what she looks like in her little blankie. So this is an item I'm really excited about and probably the one that you guys I think will be most excited about for this haul and this is an item I've been stalking their website to see when it comes back in stock because I told myself if this came back in stock I'm going to purchase it. This is the Lemieux Mint Saddle Pad. I'm so happy and this is gorgeous. When this color first came out, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it because I have the teal and it's somewhat similar, but the mint is definitely more green and I honestly prefer the mint. The teal is really pretty, but I just love a good mint green. It is so pretty and I just love Lemieux pads. I find that Sassy doesn't sweat too much in them. I have to admit they have been slipping on Sassy a little bit since I clipped her. I think her hair is just a little bit more slick, but I think once she grows a coat in, I think they'll be fine because I never had any slipping issues before. And it's honestly not terrible compared to other pads. I find that Lemieux pads really don't slip much when Sassy does have a full coat. I'm just so excited to use this on Sassy. It's just the typical close contact cut for Lemieux. And I think I just got the... I think I got the suede one. I was thinking about getting the Grand Prix cut or the GP cut. I think that's what it stands for. But I just decided to go with the standard close contact cut because that's what all of my pads are. But maybe I'll try one of those GP ones eventually. So my one order came in and this was the previous order that was stuck in customs. And also I'm in a different shirt, different makeup, but it's a different day. And I just received my order today. The order I got was from Bridles and Reigns and I... Previously have my order lost in customs, still kind of hoping it shows up just so it'd be kind of nice to have an extra set of this. I don't really know, but I highly doubt it's going to happen. It was about maybe two months like of me waiting because I knew it came from India. So it took a while to ship, which I got like and I completely understood. And then it was in India it was where it shipped from. So with COVID and also getting lost in customs, I didn't really know how long it was going to take. But two months later and I had like a tracking number, I contacted DHL and they ended up losing the package. So I reached out to the customer service for Bridles and Reigns and they did dispatch another one, but it took about three or four weeks for them to dispatch the other order, which was pretty frustrating because I feel like not to 
be like a Karen or anything, but I kind of feel like mine should have been dispatched a little bit earlier because it was like two or three, honestly four months ago that I did order this stuff and it just now came to me. So I'm not really sure if I'll order from them again. I mean, they were nice when I did contact them, but I just wish it didn't <laughs> take so long to get to me. I ended up buying two things from them and they did have a 50% off sale. So I got everything for $70. The first thing I have here I'm very excited about, but I do want to change something about it. This is one of their bling brow bands, and I just got the diamond one. It is supposed to be like their oak bark color, but I really don't like that that like outer edge and then the back right here is like an orange color. So I do have leather darkening oil, so I'm going to try to darken this. Fingers crossed I don't mess it up because it does have like the diamonds around here, so I might need to take like a little brush. I think it'll be okay on the outside, but I still think it won't match my bridle because I think with how many times I've cleaned my bridle, it has darkened a little bit. It's not quite this like kind of oak bark color, but I don't think the back is oak bark. I think this is orange, but I do love the shape of it. It's not quite like a V, but it is kind of like a droop. And the diamonds on here are really beautiful and I like that they're a little bit larger. I'm excited to try this on Sassy once I actually get it like cleaned up and darkened a little bit. My brain's not working today and I honestly don't know how to put this bridle back together because it was shipped like piece by piece. I got to put it together, but I just wanted to show you guys so I can start working on it and kind of just like put it away because I have been filming this tack haul for a while now and I just want to get it up, but I did purchase a bridle from them and the quality actually does seem really nice. It has this really beautiful like chunky brow band. It's really padded up on the crown piece right here and it is like stitched up here. And this is like their dressage hunter, like fancy anatomical bridal. So this is the nose band and I've been really wanting like a chunky, uh, like really padded nice nose band. And then I also, I didn't realize this, but it does come with like this underneath padding for the nose band. The quality does seem really nice and I just purchased the like cheaper leather because they have three different versions. I just got braided reins because this is going to be like a future show bridle for me and if I ever would show hunters I'm pretty sure they prefer braided reins to like rubber reins so I got those. The quality seems really nice. They do seem pretty soft and they have keepers right here which is nice as well and these actually are stitched too. And then I'll show you the cheek pieces even though it's kind of boring because again I still need to put this together and they look like this. I know it's a whole mess right now, but I was like trying to put this together while I was working throughout the day and my brain just wasn't having it. And the buckles are a little bit larger than I'm used to, but I think they do look really nice. I'm excited to try all this new stuff on Sassy and the quality actually does seem really nice. I just wish it didn't take so long to get here. So I'll have to consider that if I do decide to order from them again, but the quality seems nice. I'll let you guys know what I think of everything as I test it out. So that is it for my tack haul. I got some pretty exciting things. I am so glad my bridles and reins order fi like finally shipped to me and I'm really happy I got the Mint Lemieux pad. I was actually thinking like as I put this top on that this would match perfectly with the pad and that'd be a really cute like outfit for us to ride in. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a beauty channel if you wanna check it out. It is Courtney K and I'll have it linked down below. Hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.